since last two and a half decades, I am uh, practicing architecture, dealing with spaces and how people respond to those spaces. So with a close interaction with the end users, the observations that I have uh, taken over a period of time, we create spaces assuming people will become more happier and uh, more contented and have some peace of mind and all these things is what we assume. Typically when a brief comes, people come with certain expectations and uh, we rose up to that occasion and understood a lot of times what is brief is asking us to do. Apart from that, we also questioned and went into the other side, which is not told. But in all this design endeavor, right, I felt personally that there was a limitation at which uh, we are not able to do great justice to their living itself. I have chosen around eight years back to get into a path where I create an environment which will impact people's life and bring them more closer to a contented, holistic mindset where their life will be more purposeful. That made us think as a team and as an individual a lot, wherein you create an environment where every human being feels whoever is involving and thrives completely. When I say human being thriving, it's not just a human alone. Like human is dependent on so many other uh, aspects of uh, in, this, in this environment. The spaces should allow him naturally by design uh, to interact with flora, fauna that he's surrounded in. And they should actually have a symbiotic relationship while also actually giving some tripti to everyone that is living to be part of a larger good of the society, like to impact some people's lives and embrace certain systems and make life more meaningful just by living. Can we have a solution is what we started questioning. That made us start thinking about eco-habitats.